Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, I'm back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Paratopic. Now this was developed by Arbitrary Metric, published by Bartoro Games and it's available for a lovely and small £4.59. So we play as three different people in this narrative driven horror style game and honestly, i got no idea what's going on. Um, it's a short game, but it's packed with lots of stuff that needs to be done. So we basically got caught trying to smuggle VHS tapes through. Probably like, you know, hardcore porn banned in most countries or something. Taking pictures of a rare pink bird and the other stuff. But weirdly, it is a game that makes you really think about it and what it could actually all mean. Um, but achievements wise, first up, um, a big note to say that they don't unlock until after you've completed the playthrough. So you won't see any achievements lock in until you complete the playthrough. That is why we need two full playthroughs, but it'll only take around an hour or so to finish both of them, so it's not too bad. The majority are very easy, but because this is a game which you can't save and needs to be done in one sitting, there are a few different choices we need to make, and that's why a second playthrough is needed. One important note, uh, or one important achievement, is the three driving sections. So, you basically need to press the right trigger for the duration to be speeding and not hit any barriers, but again, it's very easy, so just be aware of that one. Otherwise, it is a simple but thinkingly fun game, which again, can be done in around an hour, an hour and ten minutes. So, with that being said, then, let us begin! Now, obviously, we're going to press the start button. And we're going to get a few achievements straight away here, so make sure to choose these specific dialogues, and you have to answer uh, by using the D-pad. So, choose, uh, press up, I don't know what you're talking about. Then we're going to be choosing right on the D-pad to choose dot 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 to say absolutely nothing. And they, and then say I need to see my lawyer by pressing up on the D-pad. And then up on the D-pad again for dot dot dot. Pretty much, you think you're going nuts. Now choose up again for I want my lawyer. There we go, and that is actually going to give you um, one achievement. And in fact, it's actually going to give you two achievements just here. One will be called Paratopic, and the other one will be called How About I Give You the Finger? So as long as you chose those specific dialogue options that I just did, that'll be two achievements out of 20 done already. Now just enjoy the cutscenes. In terms of skipping dialogue and cutscenes in the game, you cannot do that. Um, and basically, as you progress the game, you will see that the game will just cut to another scene immediately. Which, especially for the driving ones later on, we will need to be quite careful of what we're doing. So, just um, enjoy this bird eating this dead person for a minute. Or is that a squirrel or something? I don't know, dog. Anyway, it's eating a dead person. No idea what's going on, so just enjoy it <laughs> for now. So, now we can finally move then, what you need to do is press the A button, left stick to move, press the A button to pick up the gun and all of the bullets, and then keep uh, spamming the X button to put in all of the bullets in the gun. Now, there is an achievement as well for doing one shot, one kill, so make sure to not use the gun while you are in this diner. Another, another achievement coming up, make sure to choose this specific dialogue options, press up for yes sir. And I don't know what uh, choose up again for, of course. Again, I don't know what's creepier. It's it's the guy's PlayStation 1 blocky head. Uh, choose up again here. And the fact it zooms right in. It's kind of like Lara Croft square boobies right here. Uh, choose about what. Of course, the only dialogue option there. Then choose O. Oh, so up again. Oh man, that Lara Croft square nipple. Um... <laughs> choose up again for dot dot dot. Oh my gosh! And then you need to choose right, but you already knew. I'm getting creeped out here. Up for 
Uh, that word, which I'm not going to try and pronounce because I'm going to butcher it and you're going to take the mick out of me. Jesus Christ, there is a set of eyes. Then choose all right. I'm getting kind of freaked out right now. Uh, yeah. And then choose yes, sir. Just please stop looking at me like that. I'm going to crap my pants. Right, so all we're going to do, <laughs> thank God that's over, but doing those specific dialogue options will get you the professional achievement. Otherwise, we can just go straight behind the counter, open up the door, and <laughs> we're going to go, eh, and then move on into the next cutscene, apparently. Okay, so what we're going to do is end up in a little elevator room. So before pressing the button or anything like that, have a look at this smoking cigarette. Of course, it's not called a fag, because um, that's offensive and everyone will tear up about it. Um, apparently, uh, just press the A button there on the cigarette to put it out. That is going to get you the no smoking achievement. Press the elevator buttons, and it's a bit of a wait. <laughs> I don't know if um, the whole slowness is on purpose, in j just because it creates more atmosphere, but, you know, you kind of wish the elevator... You'd be pissed off if you had to wait for this elevator every, every single day, wouldn't you? Jesus Christ, get the elevator on steroids and get him... Pumped and moving! Come on! We ain't got a freaking day! And remember, we have to do this twice. Uh, so, you know, something to look forward to. So just have a look around at the absolutely nothing room. Because there's nothing in here. Come in! Come in! Like I said, a lot of the achievements anyway are very easy in the game. But there's going to be a certain select, especially the one coming up now with our neighbour, um, that you can only choose one in the dialogue... Uh, one specific choice and we have to go through it again and choose the other choice and it's the same with the driving as well um, in terms of you have to hit the barrier in what for one achievement and you can't for the next set of achievements but anyway go into the elevator now when we get here what we're going to do is head to the right first and go through the first open door on the right go down have a look at this mirror on the right press the a button to interact with it and you'll see a little note um, behind it that's all that is needed for that called smoke and mirrors Again, achievements will only unlock after each playthrough. So from here, we can now head down. We can go to the left, and you're going to see our smoking neighbor. Literally smoking. She's not hot or anything. She's all blocky. She is pure square boobed up and square quiffed up. Um, any, You don't have to choose any specific dialogue options here. We should be all good, so just choose what you want. Uh-huh. And then what we're going to do is go into our apartment, which is basically opposite where she is standing. So again, press the A button to knit yourself in. Now this is the worst apartment I've ever seen, and I bet it costs about $500 dues a month, doesn't it? Make sure to turn on the lamp. We haven't got no toilet, no shower, no bed. Um, but interact with the tapes. Uh, press the A button there a couple of times, and we're going to go into another conversation. Now for this one, what we're going to do is uh, get the Peepin' Tom achievement. So choose, oh, uh, you need something. And then say, I shouldn't, which is up. So we're basically going to give her a tape. Um, and then for the other time, we're not going to give her a tape for the next achievement. So just make sure to choose these specific ones. I'm not supposed to. By the way, where am I supposed to crap and shower? Just right next to me. Is it in a bucket? Okay. I really shouldn't. I'm starving too. I got no, no, no way to cook, mate. Can't you watch the one I copied last time? And apparently I've got nowhere to pee and poop as well, so count yourself lucky. Right, now choose just one. You've got to make it last, which is the up on the D-pad. Um, what? you got a bit of a stutter, love. I need you to ask again. I can't give you that one. And then choose... Um, I think I just choose... I've got a different one I can give you. So press right on the D-pad. I've got a different one I can give you, but you can't tell anyone. The Adventures of Anal Lickin' Poop Bag the Third. Um, <laughs> or something like that. Right, what we're going to do is go over to her room, have a look in, and that hardcore porn is going to basically t explode a head off. Now, uh, so this is the Peep and Tom achievement. Now we're going to go straight into the next driving cutscene, so keep hold of the right trigger now. Because, and make sure not to hit the barrier. So left stick to move. Now, these drive-in scenes do take a minute or two to complete, but basically, it's pretty much just a straight road. Now and again, there'll be little turns, but you've just got to be um, just wary and vigilant, so we have to do this for all three driving turns. So keep hold of the right trigger so that you speed in continuously through it all, and just try not to hit the barriers. Very, very important to do this. If you end up hitting the barrier, 
Um, I, what I suggest is hit the barrier 10 times to get the DUI achievement, and then on the second playthrough, try and get it then. But obviously, you know, let's just try and get it now, is it? So keep your hold, keep your finger on the right trigger, and don't hit any barriers. And there we go then, so that is the first driving section done. Now we find ourselves in a little shop. So go up to the cashier, we're gonna have a little speak to him. He's um, reading Anal Adventures the Third. Now choose uh, the bottom option. So down on the D-pad, I need something to keep me awake. We're gonna be getting two achievements here again. So up, anyone you'd recommend? I'd go with Auntie M's, okay, great. And then obviously choose local stuff then. And then we're going to choose right on the D-pad. This won't give me a heart attack or anything, will it? I hope not, because that's, uh, well, that would just annoy the crap out of me. Uh, now choose what it tastes like, so up on the D-pad. <laughs> I bet she has. Uh, choose any one you want. I just choose strawberry, because I can. Why not? Now he's going to tell us the vending machine is in the corner. So, now we can go and get an anti-M's. Now... With some of the achievements, just turn around, don't say anything left to him, turn straight around, go down to the end of the store to go to the vending machine. With some of the achievements, when they sort of unlock, you can hear like a little noise. So just keep spamming the A button until you hear a noise, or like a thud, which basically means that it's dropped out. But with a lot of these achievements, if you hear like, I can't even explain what... Yeah, it's kind of like a weird noise, an extra little noise. Um... As soon as you hear that, that means the achievement's unlocked, but it is quite finicky, as in it works with some, and it doesn't work with others. Um, but just make sure that you've heard the thud, it's pretty obvious which one it was. As soon as you've done that, go back to PlayStation 1 Vladimir Putin, and then choose what are you reading. So right on the D-pad. Yeah, man, Vlad's uh, not looking good these days, is he? The, <laughs> these, uh, the war's taking a toll on him. Um, now choose but aliens don't exist, which is right on the D-pad. And then we can pretty much say whatever we want. Um, we only had to say, but aliens don't exist for the I'm not saying it's aliens achievement. 
And for the anti ems remedy, we had to uh, use the vending machine. So you can literally say what you want now um, until we get into the next scene. So enjoy speaking with the butler of Vladimir Putin PlayStation 1 version. You it's so full cutter again. Well, I mean, you're on a tall hall. Oh, Gordo, it would be a great call if they threw the hawk if you could go to the island. Ah, 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 cool, law, law. It's so cool, cutter, I'm the right though. Oh, listen, you slots no. God damn the bro talks. Jesus, mysmus. So, there we go. We're all good now. Right. When we go here, back away from the car into the darkness. So we have to do this twice for the walkabout achievement. So as soon as you get far enough, you will automatically get put back to the car. And then just walk back into the darkness again. So, you know, the um, alien tentacle, Japanese hentai um, tentacle thing is going to get... <laughs> it's going to get you. It's going to get inside you. Uh, but anyway, as soon as you've done that twice and you hear the little, like, chime thing, that's when you know you've got the achievement unlocked and you can go on. So go ahead, grab the camera from the back of the truck. And now we're going to be grabbing two more achievements in this area. So uh, press the left trigger to get your camera out. Or the left bumper, sorry. Um, then you can... Uh, no, left trigger. Sorry. And then right trigger to uh, take the picture. Right bumper to aim. It'll tell you anyway on screen, just in case I got that one wrong, which I pretty much think I did. Um, by the way, obviously, clicking left stick to move, I forgot to tell you that earlier on. So there's this... Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, getting a bit late with that one. But there is a pink bird that we can see right here that we need to take a picture of in flight. So with the crows right there, when the uh, camera sort of goes yellow... That's when you can take a picture of them, as you can tell by the bottom right-hand corner. But with the pink bird in flight, you don't have to get that little bit of yellow. You can literally, as soon as he starts flying, just try and take a picture of him until the chime uh, appears, or until you hear the chime, which means that you've got the achievement unlocked. So, for this area, you've got to take a picture of six crows for those little birds' achievement. And again, of course, right bumper there to... Um, zoom in, and they'll only count with the black crows when the sort of camera bit is yellow, when the lens is yellow. But again, with the pink bird, you've just got to take a picture of it in flight. So the achievement will not lock, unlock if the pink bird is not flying, if it's just in the trees, I mean. So just take a picture of all the crows that you can. There's plenty around, so don't worry. They'll be flying about, and they'll be in trees and everything. So that's six done. So that'll be the, those little birds' achievement. Now... Like I said, just keep going with the pink bird. If you haven't, if you've heard the chime, what we can do is just keep following the river all the way down. If not, just keep going to the trees where the pink bird is. It'll start flying away and then quickly take a picture of it while it is flying. Otherwise, <laughs> we can just follow the river. It's it's a proper... You know what? I've got to give it to the game for... It's, it's a lovely... It's, in a weird blocky way it is quite a beautiful game um so i will give it that and it's nice and relaxing in a kind of weird sadistic uh, narrative driven horror kind of way ish anyway when we are here we'll just keep following uh, the left path you're going to see a new path we need to start heading down the slope here to the right and then we're going to come up to another driving section so again it, it will immediately go into the next driving section so just make sure that you've got your right trigger ready so that you can put your finger down and hold the right trigger down all the way through this next driving section and make sure to not hit a barrier so that's why i'm just carefully going around so there it is so again exactly the same as earlier Hold the right trigger down, drive, don't hit the barrier, and, uh, well, you know. Play!
Right then, so when we have done the second car driving part, hopefully you should be all good by now. Um, and you haven't hit any barriers, and you've pressed the right trigger all the way down to speed. What we're going to do is just turn to the right here. We're going to drop down this cliff, and it's basically one long sort of linear path. So what we need to do is just keep following the train tracks all the way down for now. Um, there are security cameras about, which is obviously weird. But I mean, hey, I mean, if you want to get your uh, nipples out and swing them, or get your testes out and swing them too for a laugh, <laughs> hey, give them a show. Then, of course, that would be up to you. It's something that um, I would do for a laugh. But, <laughs> you know, we've all got different senses of humor, haven't we? So just keep following the train tracks down for a second anyway. Hello. -hoo! Here's my nip nips. Here's my piaubs. Now I know some people are just going, ugh, that's vulgar talking about nipples and pubes on a guide. It's disgusting. Anyway, we're going to cross this wooden path, and then there's only one way we can go down, and that's to the left, and head all the way back down here. Literally, you think we could just quickly nip over the river, but there we go, otherwise the game would be too much shorter, and nobody would like that. So, head through the um, Lara Croft-style Tomb Raider PS1 version bushes. Now, you can just see a little slope on the right here, which is just around by this area, with the... Um, uh, containers and everything, but we do need to be heading up the slope and then turn directly around to go uh, basically just on the cliffside, as it were. And as we come through. Uh, the fence, I thought that was a patch of grass for some reason, you're going to see this sign just on the floor. Now, very important for the trespass achievement to turn that over, so just press the A button once to turn it over, and that will get you the trespass achievement. Now, all you need to do is go forward and pretty much crap your pants. Yes, it's a kind of little jump scare coming up, so uh, get your pants ready. Don't crap them, otherwise you need to go see the doctor, especially if it's all, you know, liquidy and stuff. Holy! Right, we're immediately going to go into the third section, so slightly go left, because it starts going right into the barrier, so that's very important there. It's very easy to hit the barrier straight away, so as long as you've got that bit. Um, this bit is obviously supposed to be the hardest out of the three, but it's literally just a few more turns, and you sort of go up and down. But it is the same thing that it applies. Keep your finger on the right trigger, and uh, try not to hit the barriers, and with that, you will get three achievements. As long as you hit, haven't hit the barrier, and you've sped all the way through by holding the right trigger. Otherwise, it's another minute or two to go.
So now that that one is done, like I said, providing that you haven't hit any barriers and you've pressed the right trigger all the way through in all of them, you will get three of the achievements. Driver's License, Express Delivery and Race to the Border. Um, now there's no achievements related to coming back to Vladimir Putin, PlayStation 1 Blockhead. Although he's got a blockhead anyway, isn't he? Um, but this, it just takes a while, so you just have to ask him about all four of the attractions about. Um, and then, as soon as that's done, we will finally go into the final scene of the game, which involves shooting a dude. Uh, but this does take, once again, a few minutes, so just try and get through it quickly and pain painlessly, painlessly, as you can. Yeah. I mean, I do find it kind of cute that, um, you know, all blockheads get excited about yarn and twine and stuff. That's more of an attraction for cats, I, I'd assume. But uh, there we go. We got the milk store, a giant ghost carnival thing. That's, um, yeah. Sure thing. You It's so cool, Carter. I'm there, I go. Oh, listen, it's not so cool. It's a bad deal. No. It's the constant awkward small talk. Nobody needs to talk this long to the guy behind the cash register. Anyway, after this one, we're going to go straight into the next scene. We need to be careful. We have to headshot this guy in order to get two achievements to unlock. So press the left trigger to aim. Don't worry, he's not going to attack you or anything. Just make sure you're aiming at his fat head. Left trigger to aim. Right trigger to shoot. Bam! Boy, you was dead! Uh, so again, no idea what's going on there. But with that, you will get the headshot and the one-shot, one-kill achievement. So what you got to do is just pick up um, at least three or four tapes in order for the next scene to appear. In fact, it is the final, final scene to appear. Hello! So, enjoy this cutscene as to what the hell's going on. I've got no idea, but... After this scene, you will get, you should, as long as you've been following along, as the guy's been cut in half. Jesus, Hana Buddha, man. And now he's going to just basically disappear into nothing and just be a TV. Okay, I'll be seeing you, friendo. Ah! Don't kill me. Please. I'm a scared. In fact, no, sorry, we've got one more scene to do. So, when I said the final scene earlier on, I actually meant we got th uh, two more scenes left. So what we're doing then, we're just going the same path that we did earlier, um, but it actually fast forwards you uh, a little bit more, so it's not too bad. But just keep following the same path, so across the log here, to the left, and just head up.
Nah, I don't know about you, but that girl ain't looking too good. She looks kind of like a... a like an old dried piece of beef jerky, although... Hmm, I do like beef jerky. Anyway, after you pick up the camera, what you need to do is just uh, have a look at this dialogue. And the credits will take about another minute or so. I've actually edited down just for a bit of time in the video. But when you... Um, View completely view the credits. That is when the achievements will start popping, like popping a cap in your ass. No, I shouldn't say that because I'm gonna get my ass popped. No way, I shouldn't say that because that makes it sound wrong. Just keep watching anyway. Well, Paul, that's good. Uh, get your name. I'll whip my one after my baby. I'll whip my girl. Now, now, now. So there is the credits then. Now, like I said, you should, as long as you've been following the guide and you're when or well, you should unlock 17 out of the 20 achievements. Also, what I'm going to do is not actually show you the next full playthrough, rather I'm just going to show you where you will get the final three achievements. Of course, I've got the timestamps um, in the comment section and the description and chapters and stuff. So if there was one that you are missing, just have a look at the timestamps. And we will be able to, and you'll just be able to see where that is from. Hello, my son. You getting on the recording too, buddy? Okay, cute. Right, so, and obviously it's going to show you on the TV screens how many achievements you've got. So I am going to get 17. You should have the same as well. Now, the reason I have just left it like a minute or two, just to make sure that they all do unlock, um, like I said, as soon as, the, as long as they do, and as soon as they do, you'll see how many achievements you've got, how many you will have got left, so we should have three. Like I said, I'm not going to be showing you the full playthrough, because it's very linear, you should sort of remember what you're doing from the first playthrough, uh, but otherwise, we can just begin, and the first one that we're going to go for is the Cold Turkey Achievement. Now remember we spoke to our neighbour, um, 
earlier on, we spoke to our neighbour and we let her have one of the tapes and then her head bust into a flower. That was some hardcore stuff, man. Her uh, head burst into a flower and then she basically died. Um, yeah, so we're going to go back. That is going to be the first out of the three achievements that we're going to get on this final playthrough. So for dialogue and stuff, you can now literally just pick whatever the hell you want until we get back to our apartment and speak to our weird neighborino. Basically, Flanders. <laughs> There we go, so I just showed you the first cutscene, obviously just to see where we're at, but as soon as we get back into the elevator, here we go, we're going to turn left, we are going to speak to our Flanderino, Neighborino, Quiffhead once again, and again, you can do, choose whatever specific uh, options you want, just smash through this bit until we get into our apartment again. So once again, she's after the hardcore anal bondage tapes. Uh, this time we're not going to give them to her. So turn on the lamp, interact with the tapes again a couple of times. Now the conversation is going to begin. So make sure that we choose these specific dialogue options. So uh, we can choose anyone here. I just choose, oh, uh, not something. Now choose right on the D-pad, which is no. Hey, flub you, buddy. Now choose I didn't know. What's stopping you this time? I need an achievement, mate. That's what. Um, I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Ain't we all starving? But again, we've got no cookers or anything to use. We, we've got a crap on the floor and stuff, so... Uh, can't you watch the one I copied last time? E -e -e. Mate, you got a bit of a stutter there. I get that scene too. Then choose, no, I won't, which is down on the D-pad. So, no, I won't. Hey, flub you. Now choose, you can't change my mind, which is up on the D-pad. And then dot, dot, dot to say dot, dot, dot. And then that will be the cold turkey achievement. Now, to get the DUI achievement, all you have to do is crash into the barriers ten times. So, I'm just going to basically crash into the barriers here uh, about fifteen times just to be on the safe side. And to be on the extra, extra, extra safe side, I'll put some condoms in my pocket. <laughs> just joking. No, for the next um, couple of driving sections, again, I crash into the barrier at least 10 times just up on the ultra safe side. So just make sure to do that with all driving sections and you should get the DUI achievement at the end. Um, otherwise, as soon as you've done it over 10 times, you can just drive your heart's content to the condom yeah. store. So when this is done, we are now the final achievement. We are coming up to the first hiking section. So remember where we... Um, Got the crows, the pink bird, six crows and the pink bird. This one I did actually miss. I didn't actually mean to uh, miss this one, but I forgot it. You can get this achievement first time round if you wanted. Um, now, of course, we've obviously got to play through the whole game anyway to get the achievements to unlock at the end. But as we begin here, um, this, this first hiking section, uh, big turkey, chicken in the, in the tree right there. You can see a shack just to our right. So as you jump down here, just to the right of us, you can see a little shack. There it is. Um, now, what we need to do, you can actually cross the river here. I thought there was a bridge to go across. As it turns out, you can just cross the river. So do that and go inside the shack. Ah, there we go, man, there we go. So we got there eventually. <laughs> so, now we can head into the shack. It's pretty obvious which one it is, because it's the only one there. Um, so, you need to go past these bay hails, go down the steps, try and interact with the door, and just walk back up and head outside. Now, it may work the first time, but basically you will hear the door unlocking, and that means that we can go through. Uh, sometimes it may not work once the first time. It didn't for me, so... Head back down, uh, smash the A button a couple of times on it just in case. And then head back up, head back out, and then eventually... I think it might be... Um, there we go, so it's open now. You can hear the noise, so it's pretty obvious when it's open. So we can head back down, go through here. This door's looking a bit... Uh, <laughs> that's looking a bit worse, worse, worse for wear. So we're going to head all the way down the staircase. Oh, man. Nobody told me to be free and walking. From here, we got to head to the right... 
and you can see just like an open door. Now, uh, very easy achievement anyway, so what we need to do is go left here and onto the second pillar. That's the first one. Onto the second pillar, you can see this little fuse box. Interact with all four switches so that the left and the right one are both up. And the two middle ones are down. Then turn to the right, interact with this green button, and a little scene's going to happen. Now, I'm not sure if leaving the scene, uh, or leaving the area while this scene is playing, will count or not towards the achievement. So, just to be, again, on the safe side, chuck another condom in your pocket, and just wait here until the dialogue stops. You can never be too careful. I thought you were much you are more to our treat. You're here for the people in the field. To fight. We are all with a small decomposed drug team. Now, you are wrong with your stupid greeting. Click my door. Would you like to talk? The future is bright. Now that is actually the name of the achievement. So again, not sure if. Having to wait until he says that at the end will make it count. But anyway, better to be safe than sorry. So, that will that should now be all three that you've done. So, what you just need to do now is keep going until you finish the game. Until you end the game. So, from here, it's about another 15 minutes, of course. Hopefully, you should know. If not, obviously, just um, rewind the video a bit and go back through it again. Um, in order to see if there was any, uh, any particular pass or anything you missed. It should be fairly obvious. But... As soon as we do, and we get all the way to the end, uh, again, you'll have to nip through all the credits. Again, sadly, nothing is, you can't skip any cutscenes, even though you've already watched them once, which is obviously not a pain in the ass, is it? <laughs> There we go then, so the rest of the remaining achievements should unlock, and that'll be 20 out of 20, and your full 1,000 in around an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. That is why the game done this, is, is to cause you basically mega paranoia, just in case you didn't fulfill one of the wishes and you have to do a third playthrough. That is what paranoia is all about. But there we go then, guys and gals, so that was a paratopic. Now, please let me know what you thought of the game in the comment section below, because it's definitely a weird one, but it was a very interesting one at that as well. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope the guide helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon and who interacts with me on the daily. Thank you so much again, guys and gals. See you in the next one. A big love.